I set up Simple Scene. Here I created this basic level with square sprites. Each square sprite has box collider attached. Also created this simple character with basic shapes. Here I added a gun sprite on top of them. Now I created a script to handle arm rotation to point towards the mouse position. In this script, first I created a vector2 property to get mouse position in world space. Then in update method I took a direction from object's position to mouse position. And then converted it into an angle using mathf.atan2 method. Then apply that rotation to object's Z rotation. Drag this script on arm object. As you can see arm is rotating but with some offset. Let's add 180 to the angle and see. You can see now it's perfectly rotating towards mouse position. Now let's create a bullet. Add rigid body component to it. Set its gravity to zero and also all drags to zero and set collision mode to continuous. Next add a circle collider to it. Now let's create a script as bullet. First create a rigid body variable to get bullets rigid body reference. Then create a variable for speed. And then another variable to store the bullet direction. Now let's create a method to shoot which will take a direction as a parameter. Now in this method I stored the direction parameter to our direction variable. And set that direction to rigid body's velocity with some speed multiplied to it. Add this script to bullet and drag their references to respective fields. Then drag this bullet to project to make it a prefab. Now let's create another script for gun. Here first create a variable for bullet prefab reference. Then another transform variable for shooting position from where our bullet will spawn. In update method if the mouse is pressed, then I took the direction in a variable in similar way we did in arm rotate script. Then instantiated a bullet in bullet spawn position and default rotation. Then took its reference and called its shoot method to add force to it. Let's add this script to the gun. And create an empty child in gun and set its position to gun's bullet spawn position. Then in gun script set its reference to the bullet spawn pos variable. And also drag the bullet prefab to the prefab field. Now bullet is properly spawning and shooting in gun pointing direction. Now let's do bullet reflection functionality. First let's create an invariable as life so that bullet will destroy after hitting some specific hits. Then in on collision enter 2d method, first decrement the life by 1 then add a check if life count is less than 0 then destroy the bullet and return from there. Otherwise take the first bullet contact object in a variable. Then there is a method called reflect for vector 2 which will simply takes two arguments. The first argument is the direction from where the object came and then the normal vector of the object to which bullet hit. This will return the calculated reflection direction. Simply shoot the bullet in that direction. That's it. Now you can see the bullet is reflecting if it hits the wall or any collider. After adding some animation and particle effect to gun and bullet. Could you spare a moment? Subscribing takes just 5 seconds but means the world to us. Please consider liking and subscribing. Thank you. This is how it's turned. Thank you so much for watching, signing off.